important the menu spoilers are present in this video. In the menu, Chef Julian Slowick uses his food to vent his resentment and frustration at his unappreciative customers, but he makes a startling exception when he tenderly serves Margaret a cheeseburger. The cheeseburger represents the tapestry surrounding Slowick and his kitchen team at Hawthorne's true intentions are untangled with each course on the menu they created. The first three courses and the accompanying monologue make the diners suspicious, but the fourth dish strikes fear and panic into the hearts of the affluent diners when a sous chef shoots himself in the chest. Slowick causes havoc in Hawthorne by revealing his evil murderous scheme for the evening with what comes next. The menu's guests make numerous attempts to leave Hawthorne, and Margaret even comes dangerously close when she speaks to a policeman on the radio at Slowick's home. But to their horror, the policeman turns out to be just another employee in Slowick's kitchen. A cheeseburger, which is not even on the menu for the evening, is demanded by Anya Taylor-Joy's Margaret just as it seems like there is no hope left for the guests. Chef Julian, to everyone's surprise, complies with Margaret's request by making her a cheeseburger and eagerly anticipating her feedback. Soon after, before setting the place on fire, he also lets her go, suggesting that there is more to the burger than meets the eye. Chef's understanding of the cheeseburger, an employee of the month award, which appears to be from Julian's first job at Hamburger Howie's, is discovered by Margaret when she enters Julian's forbidden private room. Julian appears to be almost unrecognizable in the trophy photo because of his pleasant smile and his upbeat, carefree demeanor. Since the trophy reveals that the chef had modest beginnings in the culinary world, it becomes the last piece of the puzzle pertaining to Slowick's motivations. The menu's protagonist, played by Ralph Fiennes, developed steadily as a chef over time and eventually got the chance to serve the aristocracy. Making hamburgers for customers at Hamburger Howie's was initially a fulfilling and passionate pursuit, but when he began serving the wealthy, things took a dark turn. This is revealed by Slowick in the menu, who reveals that his wealthy patrons come to Hawthorne only to brag about their social standing and have no interest in food. Lillian gives her food mindless metaphors but doesn't care much about the livelihood of the industry's workers, while Richard and his wife only eat there because they have nothing better to do with their money. Although Bryce and his finance friends appear to have no knowledge of the culinary arts, they still have the gall to threaten Slowick and his staff. On the other hand, Slowick's inability to remain true to his art just ends up being a frustrating reflection in John Leguizamo's movie Star. The worst part is that Tyler reveals himself to be an egotistical social media foodie who denigrates chef's food by naming every ingredient without appreciating the work that goes into its preparation. In the end, Margaret agrees with the chef and discovers that he longs for the satisfaction of his early culinary endeavors. Towards the end of the menu, she makes the connection and orders a straightforward cheeseburger because she realizes that it would bring Chef Slowick back to the days when he actually enjoyed cooking. As expected, Slowick pours his entire being into making her a cheeseburger because he sees it as a chance to atone for all the soulless meals he prepared for the upper class. The chef finally feels proud and content when Margaret takes a bite and enjoys the burger because he realizes that she is not like the other diners who only eat and compliment his food for its own sake. Why the chef permits Margaret to go for the cheeseburger. Margaret proves she is not welcome by defying Julian and refusing to eat nearly all of the food served to her table during the first few courses. She asserts that she only desires a filling meal that satisfies her hunger by requesting a cheeseburger with fries, demonstrating that her relationship with food is free of any selfish goals. This distinguishes her from the wealthy residents of Hawthorne and fulfills Chef Julian's desire. Margaret asks if she can get the rest of her burger to go, and Julian can't help but treat her like a regular customer like the ones from his time working at Hamburger Howie's, so he lets her go. What the last image on the menu means, due in part to the fact that she also works in the service sector, Margaret can relate to Julian's struggles as the menu draws to a close. She appears to perform her job duties mechanically because she is paid to do so, much like Julian, without being happy in her position. She feels betrayed, just like the chef, when she learns that Tyler abused her escort service by failing to warn her that going with him to Hawthorne would mean her death. She and Julian end up being nothing more than the pawns of the wealthy who never offer anything in exchange for their services. Margaret helps Julian accomplish the same by ordering a cheeseburger while she reconnects with the give and take nature of every service. The final frame of the menu perfectly illustrates this by showcasing Anya Taylor-Joy's character savoring each bite of the cheeseburger while watching Hawthorne burn to the ground. In the final scene of the menu, Margaret, like Julian, finds a long-forgotten sense of contentment, which the hamburger represents. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and support my channel.